Hi friends, this is Reverend Myrie with our weekly pastor's update. We have some exciting news. We have a new leader on our pastoral staff. This week, Reverend Seely Kanovich, uh, who is 32 years old, has joined us as a part-time priest uh, on our staff, and we're so excited. Uh, you may remember Reverend Seely. Reverend Seely uh, has her theology degree from Harvard Divinity School. And she's been a member of Spiritus for seven years. And she has preached uh, and celebrated mass many times at our weekday masses. In fact, Reverend Mary and Father Jim went to her ordination as a Catholic priest in 2019. And last month, many of you got to hear her preach and see her give the homily at Hochstein. And so we're so excited to have Celie join us uh, on our staff. And she's such a talented young priest and just a wonderful woman of God. So I love uh, working with her. And she's very anxious to meet you, and which she will do. I will I'm looking forward to introducing her to you uh, and to the rest of the parish this weekend. So I hope you join us this weekend for our liturgy uh, so you can meet Reverend Seely. For Lent, we invite you to join Mike Boucher and Kristen Walker, who have organize a wonderful Tuesday series for us of um, speakers with a wonderful theme, Healing the Hurts That Bind Us series. And so all those programs will take place via Zoom with the link available through our Spiritus Christi webpage. This week we have Ched Myers and Elaine Enns uh, who will be leading us and it's just gonna be fantastic. And each week it's gonna be great. So these are wonderful ways to get involved um, and deepen your spirituality during Lent. We also have a Thursday night uh, Lenten series of speakers that will be sharing um, on my journey with racial justice. And this week uh, we have Steve and Mary Heveron Smith that will be speaking to us about their journey. And, and then the following week, uh, the following Thursday, uh, Damon Wilson will be speaking to us. And so we're very excited uh, for these amazing speakers sharing their journey with racial justice with us. Hello, Spiritus Christi. We've got some great news for you. The Spiritus Christi Prison Outreach was offered the opportunity to purchase a mansion for the poor. This is the former Sojourner House, and it's a three-story building with 21 bedrooms. Before Sojourner House, it was a convent, so it's filled with uh, prayers, and it's really a holy place that has been saving lives for many, many years. The prison outreach, our Nielsen House, needed major structural repairs. We were faced with a dilemma of what to do, and around the same time, Sojourner House approached us and asked if we would be interested in considering this property. It's a wonderful opportunity for the Spiritus Christi Prison Outreach. We know that by providing safe housing to men and women when they come out of jail and prison really means the difference between life and death. Our guest speaker, Ernie, talked about how Nielsen House saved his life uh, at the weekend liturgies. I hope you're able to hear from that. So we really hope that you'll consider being a part of this. Normally, we would invite you all to an open house, and we'll certainly do that once COVID has passed. But now we need to raise a whole bunch of money and uh, be able to provide this great opportunity for the people we love so much, the men and women who are coming to us, homeless and out of prison. Thanks, Spiritus. So as, as Jim Smith just talked about, we have exciting news to purchase Sojourner House, or as we call it, the new Nielsen House. And normally we'd celebrate at a gala that we have each year, but we're having our second virtual gala and hopefully our last virtual. Mm -hmm. And there's, there's a great ways to celebrate there. You're gonna get a virtual tour of the new Nielsen House, which is very exciting. So maybe not an open house right now, but there is the opportunity to, to see this uh, mansion for the poor, as we're calling it, and all the excitement that uh, is around it has 21 bedrooms, amazing, eight bathrooms. We're so excited and you can help in a number of ways. Our virtual gala is gonna be on March 20th from six to 7 p.m. So please join us then and uh, join us with the excitement that we have to uh, celebrate everything the prison outreach does to help the men and women that we serve. There are sponsorship opportunities. You can visit the Spiritus Christi uh, Prison Outreach website as well as there's information in the bulletin. So great, 
great ways that you can help us. We appreciate your ongoing support of this great ministry, and we look forward to seeing you on March 20th for our virtual gala. So, Fearless, thank you so much. I am so excited. I'm just about out of my seat because I had a chance to walk through this beautiful, beautiful mansion, uh, this new home for Nielsen House, and it is just amazing. And I know that it's going to take all hands on deck. And so there's so many ways, as Todd just said, to really support this fundraiser this year. You may want to partner with your neighbor to, to, to sponsor a room. You may want to tell your friend down the street. You may want to call your neighbors or your family members and invite them to this amazing fundraiser, virtual fundraiser. It is going to be awesome. And we're going to be able to together create a beautiful, beautiful home for the men and women whose lives are being changed through this ministry of the Spirit is Christi Outreach. So thank you so much, and I'm looking forward to seeing you there. Well, friends, thank you so much for this week's uh, pastor's update. I am sending my heart to you. I'm sending my love to you, and I can't wait to see you this weekend as we continue to celebrate God and to celebrate our faith together. And so I'll see you next week. Take care.